tell me something or tell us something since on the camera that you'd like everyone to know about yourself. Not a thing. I'm living on waves. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm joking. I was, it's going to end up on it, whatever. Um, <laughs> that was just me being cool. Uh, I really don't feel like pitching myself, you know? Like, I really don't care to have people know anything specifically about me, you know? Or not. Um, I don't, there's not, you know, like, not something I believe I should get a blue medal for or a blue ribbon, I mean, for anything like that, so I don't know. Um, there was a time that you were in jail for a week and a half. Can you talk about that? I can. That's not that interesting. Um, could you be less vague? <laughs> I just want to make sure you were comfortable talking about it. Like, what, what was that like, and did it affect you at all as an artist? It was a week and a half. I, I pissed time away, a week and a half of time away, in much worse ways in jail, you know. Um, it it sucked. I mean, there's you know there's no. I was in there for um, I, well, I deserved to be in there. I uh, got a DUI. I got I crashed my van drinking and driving, you know. And so you know, like you just like that's. It, I deserve to go to jail for it. I got my friend dislocated her thumb, and I got attempted murder for that. And um, I didn't deserve attempted murder, but I can understand the sentiment. You know, like I don't, I don't actually like. I, there's no point when I was in jail that I actually felt like this isn't just. This isn't justified. Like I, I could have killed someone. You know, or not. And <clears throat> I'm, I'm super lucky I didn't. You know, like. And so if I have to, if I have to. Deal with weird, freaky child molester dudes and like thugs for a week and a half to realize that. Then fine, I had it coming. Uh, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. It was weird. It, it sucked. I was, you know.